Mantis? What happened on Lamantis after we left? Last time we saw you, things looked dire. It's a long story. We can talk about it after you do like Star Guy says and use the bathroom. I don't need to. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you when church grandpa makes you do faith crunches. Wait, Raker's gonna do what? It depends, but at some point, Someone says my name, and then there's a little bit of pee. Great. I did not want to know that. Oh, yeah, little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope. So, how was it uh, riding along with Lady Hellbender? She better not. Drax! Hey, I was just... There is no need to explain yourself, Peter Quill. Unlike the rodent, I do not mind when others are curious about my things. It's a really cool blade. With an equally impressive history. You recognize it? It belonged to Zatar the Unfinished, a great Katathian warrior king who led the first pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Wait... So you're saying this is basically Excalibur? I am unfamiliar with such a weapon. It's a mythical sword belonging to a famous Earth King. Then yes. I suppose you could say this is the Excalibur of my people. It is a symbol of a king and the great hunt he inspired for those seeking to regain a place in Ultath. Zatar sounds like a hero of yours. King Zatar. And he is. Every Katathian warrior knows the story of his pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Why is he called Zatar the Unfinished, then? In the history of my people, a rival king attacked Zatar's lands, easily overwhelming his forces. Captured and broken, Zatar challenged the rival king to a fight to the death, but the conqueror refused, banishing him to a life of dishonor and disgrace instead. So King Zatar went to Maklu 4 to challenge the mighty Fin Fang Foom and change his destiny. Well, that's depressing. How is it depressing? Because he obviously failed. Fin Fang Foom's still alive and kicking, mostly. He did not fail, Peter Quill. King Zatar did not vanquish Fin Fang Foom, it is true. But he did redeem himself in the eyes of his people. By dying? Not exactly a happy ending. By never giving up. A warrior only truly dies when he stops living. King Zatar proved that our stories, the records of who we were in life, are ours to shape. He could have died a coward who lost his place in Ultath, or he could do what I and many of my people believe he did, change the ending of his story. So, this great hunt thing seems like a bigger deal than I thought. Did we mess it up for everyone by capturing Fin Fang Foom? What do you mean? Well, uh, its purpose is to regain entry into Katathian heaven and stuff, and now there's no foom to, you know, send you there. Ah, oh, Peter Quill. There are many paths to Ultath. The pilgrimage to Maklu 4 is but one of them. Right. When Thanos murdered my family and destroyed my village, twice I chose the path of revenge. First I raised a small army of Katathian warriors. Even outnumbered, we cut our way through the Chitauri line and challenged Thanos himself. Wait, 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 wait. On Katath? You faced Thanos twice during the Galactic War? Yes. But I was not strong enough the first time. <laughs> strong enough to survive? Thanos allowed me and a few others to live. To set an example. Defeated and humiliated, 
The surviving members of my squad chose to make the pilgrimage to Maklu 4. But I could not. I continued to walk the path of revenge. Until you... You helped me put the ghosts of Hovat and Camaria to rest. To be fair, I had a lot of help. And yet you have given me a new purpose, Peter Quill. Seems my destiny was not in the mountains of Kakaranthara after all. But here, on this ship, with you. Well, I'm glad you're here with us now. I can't guarantee where our path will take us, but hopefully somewhere with lots of money and comfort. I do not have a doubt in my heart, Peter Quill, that we will have moderate success. I'll accept moderate. Morris and Hubri, you wish to practice hand-to-hand -hand techniques. It's still weird when you say my actual name. Here goes nothing. Eh, no, scratch that. Here go the Guardians of the Galaxy. Woohoo! I'm gonna barf. looks twice as big now. Wrong. It's at least thrice as big. That's the biggest I've ever seen it. What now? Kill the lights, kill the engines, and wait for Lady Hellbender to show up. <laughs> We're sure she's coming, right? She is a woman of honor. A queen. She promised to gather her forces. And how long is that gonna take? Too long? No. We can't be too late. We gotta save the galaxy and Nikki. One way or another, we need to get in there and shut down that ritual. We can't take on a fleet that big. Little Fuzzy! Rocket, what are you doing, man? We need to get into Sacrosanct to disrupt the ritual, right? We all know we get killed out here. So, I'm gonna make a really loud distraction. My tunes! Yeah, I rigged it to blast your scuddy music across all channels. While the church is out looking for the source... We cut the engines and we flow silently right past them to board the Sacrosanct. Smart! Seriously? Fine. But we're getting it back as soon as we win. Now get back in here! Find a place to park. Our deception is working. Don't sound so surprised. We are so gonna get my music back once this is all done. Sorry, Quill. Chances are they're gonna blast it to pieces once they pin it down. Let's make sure this sacrifice counts. Can we not call it that? Help! 
Airbender has arrived! Guardians of the galaxy, stop hiding! The monster lords of Seknoth 9 hunger for battle! We're not hiding. We are sneaking. Because we need to get into Sacrosanct alive. Then we will slaughter as many as we can out here while you fight your way in. Eat, my children! Crack open their shells and feast upon the sweet meats inside! <laughs>
Hates Magus. We already evicted the thing once. Maybe they made up. You booted me in group, but here we are. I did not. You left. My point stands. No. If Magus had turned warlock, he would have been here to greet us. came from. Let's hope Mantis and Lady Halbender keep most of them busy outside. Doors flarked. Scut. We need to go that way. See if you can overload it. Is this really the most efficient path? <laughs> Not even close. Let me guess. This is the only one where we have a chance to survive? Are they still mad at us? Okay, so we left such a mess last time we were here. They can tell us where Warlock is. They are nothing but Chronosteel. Force of Morale! With pleasure! Imagine the havoc Lady Hellbender must be wreaking outside. Yeah, well, the five of us are doing some pretty good havoc wreaking in here. Ah. <laughs> At least Mantis hasn't crashed the Milano. She's actually an accomplished pilot. I kind of want to know how they made so many uniforms in such a short time. The fabric inhibits their potential! Now's your chance, Gamora! Nice to meet you! We made another mess! Brute's right! They started it! It's a bit cold, so they've gotta have janitors. Good, here comes the cleaning crew. Still is back that way, boy. You 
not believe these people are janitors. Imagine the havoc Lady Hellblazer must be wreaking outside! Who's probably crushed half the armada by sending their way, Drax? this way. Come on. Yes, we're going out into space. We got no other options. And I got a theory. Yup, artificial gravity. Figured a ship this big would need it for repairs and stuff. <laughs> this is so cool. Hang on. Okay, go, go, go. Inside that giant freaking rock. Yeah, that scrap heap's taking pot shots at our monsters. Oh, test your metal. Fire him down. Light him up. How much time do we have? Not enough. We are still a great distance from the church's altar. We might find a shortcut too. Correct! Toss it! At least we got past the fair bit! Oh yeah! That section blew! Oh, 
That's what you get, squat hoppers! <laughs> Rocket!